What's up? I'm Triple Shoot. In this Power User Guide, I'll show you how to convert any game that supports DLSS into a game that also supports DLAA. Essentially, DLAA, or native AA, is using the power of a DLSS to not upscale your screen, but rather apply anti-aliasing to make it look much better than native resolution. Oftentimes, games will only ship with TAA, FXAA, and other things that just make your screen look generally blurry. Here, you can actually improve the visual quality quite a bit by using the power of DLSS in a more new way. Oftentimes, all the games only have quality, balanced, etc. upscaling options, and they don't have the option to apply DLSS on a native resolution screen. With the power of configuring our driver or using a third-party tool, we can force DLAA in any game that supports DLSS 3 and above. Just a quick note, if the games that you're trying to play only have DLSS 2, for example, you can actually change the DLSS version by downloading a different DLSS version from a site like Tech Power Up, or you can use a tool like DLSS Swapper to quickly change the version of DLSS in any game. You'll find a link for this and of course a detailed guide down below. Assuming you already have a game that supports DLSS 3, how do we force DLAA if it's not an option in game? Well, I'll be showing you Ghost Runner, which by default ships with version 3.1. I can upgrade it to 3.7, not that it really matters past version 3 for DLAA, but this game in particular, even though it's a newer title, doesn't have the ability to use DLAA. Instead, if you choose DLSS, you only have performance and quality options. There's no DLAA for anti-aliasing. In fact, we have an anti-aliasing option, but I think it uses TAA or something similar, which can end up in a slightly blurry looking image. This is how the game looks with the DLSS quality selected at 2K. It's pretty good. But if we turn off upscaling, you'll notice there's some aliasing around these wires and things like that. Obviously, upscaling will fix this and it should give us better performance, but what happens if you don't want to use upscaling at all? Skip all of the ugly artifacts and instead use DLAA for a better looking image in pretty much all aspects. Well, I'll close out of the game and show you how it's done. In the description down below, you'll find a link to DLSS Tweaks. DLSS Tweaks is a powerful little tool that allows us to wrap the NVIDIA DLSS DLL and forcibly change options on a game-by-game -game basis. While this is an open source project, the only place you can download it from officially is the Nexus Mods page for it. You'll find a link to both of these down below. The Nexus Mods page will of course require you to have an account, even though it's free. Head across to Files, followed by clicking Manual Download right over here under DLSS Tweaks. If you haven't signed in, well, you'll need to sign in now. Choose Slow Download and open up the zip once it's done. All we need to do is extract this to a folder like on our desktop, dragging them out as such. We need to run DLSS Tweaks config.exe, hit OK, and we'll be copying it to a games folder. So I'll click this button up here, and now we need to navigate to where the game is installed that we want to play around with. So in Steam, I'll right-click Ghost Runner 2, Manage, and Browse Local Files. Then we can copy the address from the very top as such, and paste it in over here as such. Once we're inside of this folder, we need to navigate to wherever the main game's exe is. Usually for modern games, there's a small launcher. This is 100 and something kilobytes. And inside of the Ghost Runner 2 folder, binaries, Win64, we'll have a much bigger exe here, which is the actual game itself. This is the path that we'll need to navigate to. So it was Ghost Runner 2, binaries, Win64, and this is the correct folder. We'll select the folder here, and we'll just hit OK with the default name here. There's a couple of different ways we could hook this in, and hit Yes. Once we've done that, we'll hit yes to reopen this tool in the games folder as such, and you'll see there's a bunch of new files next to the exe here. What we can do now is say, well, we'll force DLAA as true. Now, whenever we play the game, we'll have a forced DLAA for any of the DLSS options that we choose. Or you can customize the quality for each DLSS option. So instead of 60% of your resolution, you could crank it up to 90% of your resolution, etc. Scrolling down here, there's a couple of other power options that we can choose, but most of these I'll leave as is. For now, we've just forced DLAA as true, and we'll save this over here. Now we've customized our DLSS options for this game only. What we also need to do, if you haven't already, is run the Enable NVIDIA SIG override, which allows games to load our customized DLSS files. Once you've run it once, you can close it and forget about it. That's it. Now, the next time that we run the game, you'll see that when we play around with the DLSS options, everything should give us the same performance as it's all set to be DLAA instead of DLSS. So besides enabling a watermark, the easiest way to tell if this is working is to pull up an FPS counter of some kind, get back in game, and as long as DLSS is turned on, DLAA is now in use. So escape, settings, your video, we'll make sure NVIDIA DLSS is turned on, and no matter which quality option we choose over here, it should give us the exact same visual quality and performance as we're not actually changing the resolution. We're only applying DLAA. So applying changes here, 
the game looks way better and we're now sitting at a solid 140-ish, 144-ish FPS. If we instead crank DLSS to ultra performance instead of quality, you'll see there's absolutely no change in visual settings and of course we're still at 144 FPS. So as long as DLSS is turned on in any capacity, we're now using DLIA and the game looks so much crispier and of course there's no jagged edges as those are smoothed out by DLAA. It's a fantastic, powerful little tool to add this kind of tweak to any game that supports DLSS as you can squeeze out just that much extra quality without having to use upscaling. So we're playing at native resolution with DLAA, so this game looks absolutely fantastic. Anyways, that's really it. It's a super powerful tool to use. Just remember to open up that EXE in the games folder if you wish to customize things further. And that's really it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.